title, La Fleur Faces Dilemma on Joe Barry's Future as Defensive Coordinator. Joe Barry made a solemn exit from a Lambeau Field hallway, making his way to the elevator on the seventh floor. With an air of distress evident on his face, he headed down to the mezzanine level, where a golf cart awaited to transport him and two staff members. The defensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers seemed visibly deflated after his defense endured a 34-20 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The signs point to the end of an underwhelming 48-game tenure for Barry in Titletown. The question now seems to be not if, but when Barry will face termination, following the disheartening performance that allowed 452 total yards to Baker Mayfield and the Bucks, head coach Matt LaFleur indicated a contemplation of potential changes. When asked about the possibility of an in-season coordinator change, LaFleur responded, Now's not the time for that, to be honest with you. Pressed for an explanation, LaFleur stated, because now's not the time. I'm trying to find solutions, and I've got to go back and take a look at the film. LaFleur planned an immediate review in his office, expecting it to be equally distressing upon the second viewing. The defensive breakdown was evident in Mayfield's exceptional performance, completing 22 of 28 passes for 381 yards and four touchdowns, achieving a perfect passer rating at Lambeau Field. Chris Godwin, Mayfield's favorite target, exploited weaknesses in the Packers' zone defense, accumulating 10 receptions for 155 yards. Green Bay's defensive struggles were further highlighted by confusion among defenders, leading to a 7 of 13 conversion rate on third downs and seven passing plays of 20 yards or more. The Buccaneers scored touchdowns on their first three second-half drives, exposing the defensive vulnerabilities. While Barry's suitability for the role has been in question since his appointment, Lafleur has been reluctant to acknowledge it. With three games left in the season and potential playoff aspirations hanging in the balance, the decision to part ways with Barry is not straightforward. The hesitation stems from the lack of an apparent replacement. The Eagles, making a late-season defensive coaching change, had the luxury of turning to Matt Patricia, a former defensive coordinator with Super Bowl experience. In contrast, the Packers lack an obvious in-house candidate, reflecting poorly on LaFleur's coaching staff choices.